Hi, everybody. I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture. It's not cute, not knowing. Let's start with a hug. Mm -hmm. Let's get started. Lizzo is facing another lawsuit. This one is from a, a church elder who said that Lizzo sampled his song that he sang at a friend's funeral years ago for her song, Coconut Oil. The church elder is seeking $750,000. Now, this ain't the first time that Lizzo has been sued, but this is just the latest. I got Dancing with the Stars news. It is coming back. New season, Tyra, everybody coming back. No one is being replaced. The show's going to go on with Tyra and the crew. New season starts in the fall. Godzilla versus Kong in theaters at HBO Max. They're saying this is a feel-good movie, and I'm often like, really? Um, it's going to be in more theaters, so this is the big test of how, you know, the movie theaters are going to be opening up, but that opens in theaters and HBO Max tomorrow. Today, I had a chance to interview the director of Concrete Cowboy. Ricky Staub grew up in Philadelphia. Concrete Cowboy, which starts streaming on Netflix on Friday, is a true story of the Fletcher Street Cowboys in the hood in North Philadelphia. It's a coming of age story. I talked to Ricky. I talked to one of the stars, Caleb McLaughlin. Um, Stranger Things, new edition story. Really, really good. But it's the coming of age story of a, of a kid who is sent to live with his dad, Idris Elba. His dad has these horses and the stables and the horse manure, but he's growing up and it's a coming of age story. Method Man is in it. I don't know why they let me interview Method Man. They probably be like, uh-uh, you're not going to get up here flirting. You've got actor, Emmy Award winning actor, Jerrell Jerome. They're all in it and it starts streaming. As I said, it's a coming of age story, the relationship between a son and his father. This weekend, the Mahalia story is coming to Lifetime. Robin Roberts produced it, Lifetime, 8 o'clock. Danielle Brooks, she can sing. I didn't even know she could sing. We knew her as Tasty on Orange is the New Black. Well, she is playing the gospel great. Saturday night, Saturday Night Live has British actor Daniel Kalua. He won a Golden Globe for Judas and the Black Messiah. You know him from Queen and Slim. Get Out, Black Panther. He is getting his chance at hosting with Saturday Night Live. Okay, so Sunday, there's a lot of music competitions going on. You got Earth, Wind & Fire and the Isley Brothers on the Versus TV on IG. That's like the easiest way you can find it. Get your kids to help you. Earth, Wind & Fire, Isley Brothers, they're saying Steve Harvey is hosting. It's at 8 o'clock. Versus B-E-R-Z-U-Z -Z TV. Well, Dan Warwick is also doing a concert Sunday, Easter, at 8 o'clock. Dion, Auntie, Miss Warwick, why? Why? Now, she's got two shows, 2 o'clock and 8. Why you want to go up against the Isley Brothers and, 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 and Earth, Wind & Fire? <laughs> yes, your songs are great. But at the same time, you couldn't do like Saturday night. Because you got the Isley Brothers and Earth, Wind & Fire. Sunday night. Now, you know you can't tell her nothing. And wait, people are saying, well, Pam, you should say something. <laughs> no, because she fussed me out years ago. I can't even imagine um, saying, you should do it on Saturday night. Just like years ago when I said, why are you messing around with them psychics? Them psychics, that ain't no good. Mm -mm. I'm staying right out of it. I'll catch her at 2 o'clock uh, for that concert. But she's doing <laughs> two shows on Easter Sunday. American Idol is coming back with people in the audience. It's going to be 50 people. They'll be masked. They'll be tested. They're going to be seated in pods with family members. That's how they're going to do that. Ariana Grande is coming to The Voice, replacing Nick Jonas for next fall's edition. So it'll be Ariana Grande, Blake Shelton, Kelly Clarkson, 
and John Legend. Game of Thrones. I know I'm saving the best for last. I know y'all saying, get to the Shaman on board part. I'm coming. Game of Thrones is coming to Broadway. Singer Van Hunt opened up to Entertainment Tonight about his relationship with Halle Berry. He turned 51. They're in love. He's happy. And he says that she changed him to be not only a better musician, but a better person. Van Hunt has a 17-year-old son, and we are all hoping and praying that y'all never break up. That's all I'm going to say, because I just want Hallie to be happy. She's found this man to look, be happy, because the rest of the relationships were... Just want her to be happy. So, it's, it's good that the love. Van Hunt, Halle Berry is growing strong. Let's shift gears to Sharon Stone. I got the tale of the Sharons. Sharon Stone has written a book, The Beauty of Living Twice. When she was 43 years old, the actress best known for Basic Instinct, believe the movie Casino, she was really good. She suffered a brain bleed, which is a stroke, and it can be very, very serious. Uh, she said she experienced a uh, adult world experience and came back and it made her grateful for life. She went to get tumors removed from her breast. This is all in a book. And the doctor removed the, the tumors and then made her breasts bigger than what they were before. She talks about sexual harassment in Hollywood and how, you know, she was pressured and weird things going on. She lost three kids to miscarriages when she was almost six months along, which can be devastating. She is the adoptive mother of three sons. She had two failed marriages, and she talks about being molested as a child by her grandparents. That part of the book was, it was difficult. She said when her grandfather died, she was 14 years old, she didn't believe he was dead, so she kept poking him in the casket because she felt like the abuse will end. And I, I said grandparents because the, they would go to visit their grandparents and the grandmother would lock him in the room with the grandfather. Okay. Sharon Osbourne. Sources say CBS gave her between 5 and $10 million to leave CBS. CBS released a statement today. They said, no, we didn't. Uh, but we knew you had to give her something. It was more than just the racial flap with um, Cheryl Underwood. Apparently, Sharon Osbourne has been a problem on this show for a while. Other cast members talking about the homophobic slows. The, the Asian slurs. In this day and time that we're living in, you can't use the excuse, well, I'm older. Well, I ain't even from America. You got to know what to say, what not to say, and what you shouldn't say. Is it the cancel culture going crazy? Well, she was probably acting up on this show. I, hope we, I, hope, I do hope one day we find out why Eve really left. I, I really do. But... I don't think it's a thing where the cancel culture has gone mad. I think she's been a problem on the show. She was getting paid a ton of money. She's been on the show for 11 years when the original women, other women have been drove away from the show. Leah Remy, Holly Robinson, Pete. I, we're going to find out one day why Eve left. But they had to give her something. Now, they probably don't want to admit that they had to give her money. It doesn't really mean they're going to shut her up because she says she has a story to tell. But do people want to hear it? I know there's some. There's some that do. You know, she has her supporters. But they felt in this toxic environment, it was too much for Sharon Osbourne to return to the show. Really sad. The show ain't coming back to the 12th. I don't even know if the show can withstand this because the ratings weren't great. They all had to go to racial sensitivity training classes and all of this stuff. The producers got in trouble because they said you did not prepare Sharon for the segment properly. See, I think it's easy to talk about fluff 
but when you start getting into serious things. But I think what was the turnoff was Sharon's attitude towards Cheryl Underwood, which was very dis disrespectful. And if Cheryl had popped off on her, it would have shifted. Um, Cheryl, look at Cheryl Underwood. Look how she acted. But Sharon Osbourne was just defiant. And wait, she may have said sorry on TV, but do you know she never went to Cheryl and said, I'm sorry about what happened. I'm sorry about our misunderstanding. She just went on this tangent about, well, explain racism to me. We didn't explain racism. It's not what we here for. It's a mess. CBS says they didn't pay her. Others say she got between 10 and 5, 5 and 10 million. It's not cute not knowing, and now you know. Please don't ask me to go talk to Aunt Dion because I can't. <laughs> she ain't going to listen to me, and we're not, we're not fitting to be cussed out or told off in the new year. I'm just going to be obedient. And watch her at 2 o'clock on Easter Sunday. It's not cute not knowing. Uh, hit the notification so you know when the videos come up. Also, it's growing. We're over 40 plus. Thank you. Leave a comment. I appreciate you guys. And thanks so much for joining me. I'm Patty Jackson. I am your auntie of pop culture.